Good evening, good evening, good evening. This is the Minister ML Kimball coming to you live with Word on the Street Talk TV. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. Please like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to deal with Mayor Eric Adams. I don't know if you guys know about Mayor Eric Adams and what he's uh, allegedly in the uh, news about, but he was ad, ad, he had he was very adamant in the beginning of the during the election. Uh, it's just awful funny how he was very he was very open with with the borders and letting everybody in and it doesn't matter and oh and then it's awful funny how when President Biden turned his back on him and didn't want to have anything to do with this guy, now he's backpedaling faster than Deion Sanders with the scam. Now he wants to be a part of the Trump agenda as far as uh, what is going to happen with illegal migrants. It's awful funny to me, Mr. Mayor Eric Adams, that you were one, one, you were one side of the coin when you thought you had the Democratic Party in your back pocket. And when they said they didn't want to have anything to do with you, could this be your ploy to avoid the impending charges that you're faced with? I don't know. You guys have to tell me. It looks like a scam to me. I feel like I'm sniffing out a scam because the reality of it is how do you just flip flop from this to that? Now, listen, we're going to take a look at this scam and see exactly what he said. And uh, if you guys haven't heard it, we're going to take a peek here. Let's take a peek. Yeah, Hunter, Hunter Biden. <laughs> Out of all of this, you know, there's, a, there's almost a level of irony uh, to, this, to this all. I, I, I just want to bring out something. <sighs> he wants to bring out something. Let's see what he wants to bring out. I want to read. I'm going to read the front page of... Uh, the New York Times. Okay. Let me find that sentence. He's going to read the front page of the New York Times. Okay. Okay. President Biden and President-elect Donald Trump now agree on one thing. The Biden Justice Department has been politicized. The Biden. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Rest my <laughs> now, it's awful funny to me how every one of these so-called politicians, every time they're caught in, in a, a scam or any type of criminal behavior, they always come out with this, oh, the Department of Justice is against me, or this, oh... It, it's politicized. It's coming after me because of my political views. If you don't get your scam out of here, guy, stop it. The same thing with Biden. Biden, once again, we're not upset that you were going to pardon your son. Anybody in America would feel like you were going to pardon your son. Anybody would do this. If you're a loving father and you see your son is being faced with criminal behavior and things that could land him in jail and you have the power to pardon and offer clemency, what loving father wouldn't do that? That's not the point. The point is how you came out with the scamified answer that this guy's going to piggyback off of, basically saying, oh, the Department of Justice attacked my son because he's my son. Biden, that is a scam. Nobody believes that. And then why are you giving him so much clemency to give him all the way back to 2014? What are you doing? What, what was going on in 2014 that you don't want him to get in trouble for, Biden? You we, Let's not forget this. So I can't deal with this scam here because he's the same scam that will not sit down, although he's been caught up in scam after scam after scam. But let's listen and see what else he has to say. My case. 
I'd love to expand on that. You, you know, you said in the Wall Street Journal the other day uh, that you do believe that you were targeted because of your uh, speaking up about migrants. Or I guess I want to. How is he targeted about speaking out when he was all for it? I don't understand the scam here. What do you mean, sir? You were targeted out. You're targeted because of how you where your stance was on this uh, migrant situation, but yet you were all for it. I don't understand. I just don't understand the scam. How can you just flip flop from one thing to another and think nobody's going to catch it? Everybody, all these Democratic people saying, oh, Biden didn't lie. Show me how he didn't lie. How didn't he lie? His press secretary said over and over and over again that he would not pardon his son. Although we knew that that was a complete scam lie. We knew that there's no way that this guy is not going to let his son free from any charges that he may be faced with, especially when you know he's involved in criminal behavior. You have the power to do so. Every president before you has done it. Every president after you is going to do it. But that's not the point, Biden. The point is you lied. And now this guy is trying to use the same exact excuse that the Department of Justice is after him, after him, when he was all for the migrant, come on in, just no matter, it doesn't matter, don't vet nobody out, don't check nobody out, just open the borders, let them get free hotels, give them free stamps. This guy was, he was all for all of that. Now, all of a sudden, he wants to get on the Trump train. That sounds like a backpedaling scam to me, but let's continue. Ask, I mean, why do you think you were targeted? I believe that the Southern District has said that this investigation into your campaign began before you were mayor. It began in 2021, I believe they said. So, I mean, what would they be targeting? Before you were mayor, what would they have targeted? Do you see what I'm saying? It's. I'm not sitting here saying that the race card does not exist because, trust me, it does with my own situation that I'm faced with and I'm still battling out with the people and entities that I'm dealing with, with the Swanton Police Department. Yeah, I'm going to call their names every chance I get. McNeil Chevrolet and State Farm Fire and Casualty Company, our former agent, Jeff Lambert. So I'm not the guy that says, oh, it doesn't exist. Racism does exist 1,000%, and it still exists today. But I have a problem with the people that try to use that as a, a excuse or whatever to get out of some trouble that they're in. It's ridiculous. What about that? It makes it hard for the people that are really going through a racially motivated situation when you pull out, oh, I was targeted because of my beliefs or because of what I said. And, and I'm, oh, I'm just, oh, I'm targeted. No, sir. You were all for it, and then now all of a sudden, you're backpedaling. Sounds like a scam. Or were they just chasing a lead and, and, and found something? Listen, one of the, in all my life, I never had to have the level of discipline that I have right now. <laughs> Nothing is more harmful and hurtful to have leaks come out and what's up with the pierced earring? Now, listen, again, I'm not here to judge the guy. I'm just not. <laughs> Somebody going to get mad at me. But listen, I'm not here to judge this guy. But yes, I am. Because this is the same picture of a scam but we'll jump behind him because we'll say, oh, he's black. So what he does, he can't be corrupt. He can't be. He just, he's got to be legitimate. What in the world do you have to have your ears pierced for and you're the mayor? I'm just trying to understand. When do we grow up? When do we get past the age of 22? I mean, you've got to be pushing 55 plus 60 years old or something, and you're walking around with an earring in your ear, and you're the mayor. I mean, come on. Come on. Come on. You might think it looks cool, but guess what? America doesn't. 
So there are going to be people that judge your performance, believe it or not, based upon the appearance that you look like. This is what they told me when I worked at McNeil's as the finance manager. I had to really watch what I wore. They told me that. My clothing had to fit a certain... I couldn't just wear some of the my suits that I you see behind me. Some of those jackets and hats and shoes, I was not allowed to wear out there. I'd be told right away. Because your appearance... And don't think that there's not Americans that don't look at you as a scam because of your, just because of your stupid pierced earring, guy. What are you doing? You're the mayor. I mean, come on. Come on. Just show me another mayor that is in the history of the United States that walked around with an earring in his ear. I'm just saying. Call it whatever you want to call it. Say whatever you want to say the assault on your character, and you have to sit back. You know, there assault on your character, sir. You were found guilty of some corrupt. They've got evidence against you with corruption. That's the point. Why does it always come down to somebody's attacking you when they have evidence against you when you are being involved with a scam? I, I just... I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's continue. It was this photo of Muhammad Ali oh, when he was like, hit don't the, you the even try him, like, to even <laughs> identify with Muhammad Ali. Do you know how much I, I want to respond that. to this stuff? <laughs> I just want to respond to all of this that has unfolded for the last couple of months. And every day before I do off topics, my lawyer said, don't you do it. <laughs> Cause you know, I'm just, I'm just a fighter. I, I believe in fighting for my rights. And this is the fighting hardest your... thing I've ever done in my entire oh. life oh, of God. the onslaught oh, of this. Oh, and God. I have to remain. Okay, listen, that's enough of the scam. I can't, I can't listen to the scam anymore. This is what I'm talking about, but yet somehow, some way, you darn democratic scamified scams will tell me that I am Mr. Uncle Tom or something because I won't get on your train and believe the same scams as you. Listen, this guy is corrupt and it will never be a change in America until there are the corruption on all levels has been weeded out. I don't care what office they hold, if they're an elected official and they're found dealing in corruption, in my opinion, I don't care what level of office they hold, they should be removed. And until this guy has his day in court, he's innocent, but it just doesn't get rid of the public opinion, sir. You were found in, uh, involved in a scam, so stop trying to pull on the darn race card, and now you want to jump on the Trump bandwagon as if you were so concerned about the migrant crisis in your city and town. You were that concerned in the beginning, but yet you, there's evidence of you, you were all for it. Bring them on in. Give them everything you could. Then now all of a sudden, now that there's a new incoming president that's coming in saying that we're going to do this, this, and this. We're going to put this, this, and this in control. Everybody's starting to, oh, we better get in line. Oh, you better get in line because we need a president that's going to put some things in control. And one of the number one things that needs to be controlled is the migrant crisis. So I don't know if I can accept your 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 explanation, sir, as, very, as genuine. I don't know. Y'all get in my comments. Tell me what you think. Like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, be blessed on purpose.